Claire Lomas, MBE, will take part in the Great South Run in October, but Claire isn't an ordinary participant, and rather than running the event, she'll be walking it in a bionic suit. The suit works by tilting my pelvis for every step, it has a sensor on it. Um, even standing in the suit when you can't feel your legs is challenging for me. I can't, you know, to trust her there when you've got no sensation at all. And then I've got to get the uh, sense, I've got to get tilt timing just right for the suit to pick up that. So um, every little bump out there, slow, going on and off pavements, it's, it's challenging. Um, and which is why it takes me a long time sometimes. Claire was left paralysed from the chest down 10 years ago after a riding accident and the Great South Run won't be her first challenge, aided by her revolutionary powered exoskeleton. I've had the suit five years. Um, I did the London Marathon suit five years ago. It took me 17 days. Um, I was doing about a mile and a half a day. And I did the Great North Run in September. I found that seriously tough, uh, but I was actually 16 weeks pregnant and now I've got a little baby who's 14 weeks old. Um, so I was out there doing that and I did three miles a day. So that's really about as far, that's taking me most of the day, so you can see why 10 miles all in one go is going to be a huge challenge. But luckily, my little girl is training me for the no sleep part. Claire aims to complete this 10 mile event in 24 hours and will start a day earlier than the rest of the 20,000 competitors to hopefully cross the finish line just before them. But walking that distance in a bionic suit is no mean feat. I'm looking forward to being here and, and taking on the challenge, but completing is always a nice feeling when you're absolutely shattered, especially with no sleep all night. And you know, It's going to be hard because it, it not only requires physical effort, uh, which a lot of challenges is, but mentally it's really hard. I have to focus and concentrate on every step. I can't be looking around me because I haven't got a clue where my legs are. So there's a lot of focus on what the pavements are like and where my feet are to keep my balance, so it's hard. While Claire is now an inspirational fundraiser to many, Life wasn't always so easy after her accident. My life was changed in a split second and I had to rebuild it. And, and actually my toughest challenges haven't been walking these big events. They've been a big challenge, but just getting out of bed when you had no reason to get up and you were feeling like really down and trying to get through those, those dark times was, was definitely the hardest challenge. The Great South Run will take place on Sunday the 22nd of October, but Claire will start her challenge on the Saturday. She hopes to complete just under half a mile each hour, walking all through the night with no sleep. And her husband Dan will walk behind her every step of the way. Rhea Barton for That's TV.